Morning folks, welcome to a Queensland daily weather wrap from OCC today, the 24th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe, accredited shed. All right, we've got a low that's located around about 300, 350k to the northeast of Cooktown. It's not doing much. It's gradually just sort of drifting eastwards. You can see the centre of circulation could be anywhere between here and about here. And so the centre of circulation could be anywhere within about 200 kilometres of that region. So it's not a really intense circulation. It's not really creating much weather. It is enhancing southeasterly winds on the south side of it to result in a few showers on the northeast Queensland coastline. And we're seeing the monsoon kicking up into gear here across the northern parts of Cape York Peninsula, starting to get those monsoon or squall lines coming into the western Cape. Around southeast Queensland, we did mention yesterday that the Gold Coast had started to see an increase in shower activity overnight early in the morning, and they have done so. And you can see quite a bit of shower activity associated with a weak surface trough located just offshore off the southeast Queensland coast. Outside of that, we've got a little bit of light patchy rain, maybe an isolated shower or storm that develops here across the western parts of the Gulf Country of Queensland. In terms of winds across Queensland, south is gusting to 25 to 30 knots at times. The area across the central and northeast Queensland coastline on the southern side of that low. That low is squeezing the air in between itself and a high pressure ridge down south. So that pressure gradient squeezing force is creating that more significant wind across the central and northeast Queensland coastlines. The monsoon itself is starting to pull itself together through the day today and we will continue to see northwesterly winds on the northern side of uh, the monsoon trough and southeasterly winds on the southern side of the monsoon trough as our low gradually slowly deepens and starts to push eastwards away from the coastline. That low is not expected to have any direct impacts on the coastline outside of the fact of what it's doing right now which is increasing that pressure gradient squeezing force and increasing some shower activity indirectly on the coastline. Right, outside of that area, we've got a bit of mischief going on across southeast Queensland with a weak surface trough, as I mentioned, just enhancing their shower activity as well. So as we go through the afternoon today, we can see widespread shower and thunderstorm development out here. Let me try that again through the afternoon across the Northern Cape. You can see some isolated showers and thunderstorms also across the Western Gulf. Look, there's potential for some very isolated convective showers anywhere across North Queensland with a particular focus on the Northeast Tropical Coastline. You can see some of these isolated showers in the Southeast Central East escarpments as well throughout the afternoon into this evening. As we go into tonight, you can see heavy showers redeveloping across Northeast Queensland. Maybe a slight increase in shower activity again across the Southeast Coastline. Probably not quite as many showers this time around as there was overnight last night into this morning and we continue to see the monsoon cranking up with lots of rainfall up here around the Cape uh, the Cape coastline the Torres Strait Islands etc so looking at rainfall accumulated between now and nine o'clock tomorrow morning we can see some good falls around northeast Queensland our low creating some heavy falls out there in the Coral Sea you can see some nice falls also very close to southeast Queensland's coastline associated with this increase in showers due to that weak surface trough uh, and some showers and storms in the western Gulf you can see some very isolated convection literally anywhere across northern inland Queensland you've got to be really lucky to get one of those um, and, and some showers and thunderstorms will quite widespread across the top end the tip end and through the Torres Strait Islands as well as you can tell, the monsoon is firing up. To find out more about what's happening, not just in Queensland, but also in other parts of northern Australia due to that monsoon and lows that develop along it, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au, check out our subscription options, and help to support our work if you can. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you again in the morning.